All right, hello everybody, and welcome to GDQ Hot Fix. Tonight, we have a Mitch Flower Power Super Mario Brothers 3 showcase that we're very excited to show off. But real quickly, some quick announcements for GDQ. Remember, GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you would like to support the stream, as well as the other programs on GDQ Hotfix, please consider subbing to this channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you have a Twitch Prime sub, so please consider using that if you have that already to sub to the channel to continue the programming. Uh, tomorrow on Thursday, we have Jehabs and Kizron who are going to be playing through Donkey Kong Country 2 on the first step. So if you would like to see those two duke it out in DKC2, please come back tomorrow night for that. And without further ado here, we have Mitch Flower Power here. Good luck and have fun. Hello, GDQ Hotfixers. What's going on, guys? Look at all you guys showing up for some Mario 3 really really appreciate it so what's gonna happen today is i'm going to be showcasing some super mario brothers 3 runs i have a 100 uh, percent all collectibles run and i also have an smb3 warpless run i'm gonna do and i also have a dun -dun -dun, riff bows run that i'm gonna do and that is a, a kaizo game and it, I, it's gonna be pretty fun it's gonna be pretty fun i'm gonna start with 100 percent all collectibles but before we start i want chat to spam all the love for GDQ right now, because without GDQ, I would not be able to do this. So we all need to thank GDQ and GDQ Hotfix, all the staff, everyone who puts all this together. Just spam the chat with a bunch of love. Show a lot of appreciation, guys, okay? It's it's incredible that we can do this. Um, so I can tell you more about 100% collectibles as we go. Um, so let's go ahead and get this run started, and then I can tell you guys about about 100% collectibles as, you know, as I go, okay? So... We're gonna go on go. So three, two, one, go. All right. So 100% collectibles. It is your traditional 100% run. Sorry about that. Had to make sure I, I nailed that jump there. That is by far the scariest jump in the game. But anyways, 100% collectibles is your typical 100% run. However, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be collecting all the secret white mushroom houses, all the hidden chests in every world. So, you know, 5-1, the secret music box. In 3-7, uh, you have the secret, uh, I think it's the cloud. Yep, it's got the cloud. And then you, you collect the secret anchor. As well, on top of that, I will be collecting one of every inventory item as well. So, that would be pretty crazy. All right. So, the first divergence in this category is 1-4. Um, how many of you guys out there remember all of the secret white mushroom houses? Can I, can can chat give me a uh, a name of all the levels that will have the secret white mushroom houses? Do you guys remember them all? It's a tough one. It is 100% collectibles isn't a a full on uh, official category. Um, but I would like it. I would definitely like it to be an official category. So, Mitch, how do you collect white mushroom houses? That's a good question. <laughs> you need to collect X amount of coins minimum in very specific levels in every world. Except, except for World 8. Except for World 8. You don't, you don't need to collect, there's no white mushroom house in World 8. I'm not sure why they don't have white mushroom houses in World 8. Maybe because Bowser is against them. Maybe he's just like, we don't need... There's not even mushroom houses, for anyone wondering. There's not even mushroom houses in World 8 either. They just left you high and dry. That's it. <clears throat> yes, 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two has a white mushroom house. This level has a white mushroom house. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we got it. <laughs> you definitely have to make sure you collect all the coins. Uh, this does definitely extend the 100% category as well. Alright, there we go. So, if I did it correctly, we should see a uh, white, white mushroom house appear. There it is! Whee! It's a very rare sight. Even, even watching speedruns, you'll never see a white mushroom house. You'll see a coin ship. <laughs> you will definitely see coin ships, but never white mushroom house. So... With the whole 100% collectibles 
we won't be collecting the mushroom houses in the overworlds. And the reason for that is you can't actually collect... Right on, we made it. That was a cool trick. We can't actually collect all the mushroom houses in one full playthrough. So that's kind of like a, a sad day. It's, it makes makes us all cry. I, I don't know why Nintendo did that, but they definitely did it. Um, you need more hammers than the game gives you to access all the mushroom houses. Okay, so, again, also, with all collectibles being... Oh, ah, we didn't get the tunnel, guys. I'm sorry. We tried. We tried. Um, you can't get all the mushroom houses on collectibles. Also, we need to get one of every inventory item. And do you guys remember which mushroom houses are guaranteed to give you specific items? Most of the time, mushroom houses are random. However... There are mushroom houses throughout all the worlds that will always give you the same item, no matter what. So if we need one of every inventory item, that means we need to go to very specific uh, mushroom houses. <laughs> Don't shame me for the tunnel, guys. I do have chat up, and I will be able to respond if I have uh, any important questions that you guys might have. I'm definitely willing to answer as many questions as you guys want with uh, this category or anything Mario 3 related, for sure. All right, first world down, guys. Whee! Let's go. Yes, World 6 has a guaranteed um, Hammer Brother suit in the Mushroom House. Um, world 5, the first Mushroom House, has a guaranteed uh, Nuki suit. Uh, world 2, the secret area, has a guaranteed uh, Frog suit. And World 3. World 3 and World 2 have guaranteed Frog suits. It's really weird. But only the second, only the second Mushroom House in World 2. The categories I will be running tonight are 100% all collectibles, uh, any percent warpless, and Super Rift Bros 100%. Yeah, the secret Mushroom House in World 2 gives a frog suit always. Always. So, we need to try and get lucky because the only way to get a Fire Flower in your inventory is oh come on nice nailed it nailed it um yeah the only way to get a fire flower in your inventory is through a mushroom house which we don't want to do those or a spade card game so i'm actually gonna take my chances with a spade card game because i might be able to get two fire flowers and i might be able to get two stars from it at least that's what i'm gonna go for get those extra items the hardest collectible i think in this game is the 7-2 white mushroom house. You actually need a frog suit. So I'm going to get a backup frog suit in case I mess it up. Because you need a frog suit to do it. So if I don't do it correctly and I lose my frog suit, then I can't ever get it. So. Alright, let's get our speed strats going. Alright, looking good. All right. I also have my little list here to make sure I don't forget anything. I think spade card game will spawn here. Not yet. I don't know where the spade. Okay, so this is one. This is one of the other levels. So we have to slowly and carefully grab these coins because this is another white mushroom house level. So they Nintendo kind of debates people with this one because you gotta go through, right? You gotta hit that. You gotta collect these, but then you gotta come back. You gotta come back to the platform. Okay. I'm sure there are faster ways of doing this, but I don't even know. Right? You have to delay this. Come on. Come on. Nailed it. Nice. Okay. They really get you there with that. It's so tough sometimes. <laughs> I have definitely messed that up before. That is one of the that is one of the scarier white mushroom houses yet. So the only thing left in this world, I think, is there it is. Okay, why don't you just marathon there, Hammer Brothers? Hello, you found my shop of strange and wonderful things. And my fireballs are green. That item right there is called the anchor. And what that does is that stops the airship from flying around too much. It's really good. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. 
Yeah, I, I imagine you can get all the coins by hitting that P-switch without going back for the platform, but we don't want to take our chances. So there's only uh, two other secret items left we have to get in this world for the all-collectibles. That is the Mushroom House with the Frog Suit and the Hammer Brother with the Warp Whistle. We don't need a Warp Whistle in our inventory, but what we do need is to fight all the Hammer Brothers too, because we still have to complete 100% as well. And I don't know where my spade card game is right now. But I'm gonna need it soon. <laughs> gonna need it soon. Alright. So far, this run's actually going pretty good. Uh, not too bad on crazy RNG or anything. So we have that to thank. Normally the Hammer Brothers like to mess us around. Uh, a lot of people... <laughs> what's in my inventory? I can't tell you what's in my inventory. It's a secret. <laughs> I got all the goodies. Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's try and get a fire flower here. Okay, we got a mushroom. We got a fire flower. Okay, that's all we needed in our inventory. And we got a star. I wanted an extra star. There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice. So we're looking good for inventory items. Uh, for, for those of you who just showed up, the all collectibles run requires me to 100% this game, so whatever 100% of Mario 3 is, all the levels, right? Complete all the levels, okay? And the other side objectives that make it the all collectibles is that I have to get one of every inventory item, I have to do all the white mushroom houses, I have to grab uh, every single secret chest item, and, uh, you know, as well as complete the game, of course. Alright, there's the nasty hammer. There's the nasty hammer. Aside from all of that, how is everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all having a glorious Wednesday. I hope everyone's having fun and enjoying this run. This is not a very hugely advertised run, so I can almost guarantee a large portion of you have not seen this run before, so that is always very exciting. New runs and new categories can always be pretty fun to watch for the first time. You are very far from late. You are very far from me. You guys are popping. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that that all support during these hotfixes go directly to GDQ and all future events and charities. So uh, Twitch Primes are free if you do those towards the channel. Those all those all help and go towards every single thing. Uh, charities, GDQ, you know everything. So if you really enjoy what GDQ does and you want to support, um, you know now is as good time as ever. Just want to let everyone know. Make sure. There wasn't any confusion there. Is this the hot new category? Of course. All right, so we're gonna do the secret here. Uh, where's my hammer? There it is, okay. So we're gonna do the mushroom house. We're gonna do the mushroom house. All right, guaranteed frog suit. Okay, so we got a frog suit on in our inventory and on top of that, I need a frog suit for seven two. Ooh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Would you like to have this category in a future run? I submitted this run to GDQ for SGDQ. So we, we will see. It all depends. This is, this is, if GDQ accept this, definitely a hot new category. We'll have a new hotness, guys, but. But I also submitted a bunch of other things to GDQ. So whatever happens, happens, right? Ooh, okay. That is a very nice level. That is a very nice level. This means the ham- I will be getting the Hammer Brother suit, that's right. I do have to get one of every inventory item. Alright. So let's see. Spade card, we got the Fire Flower. 1-4, we got the White Mushroom House. 2-2, two, two, we got the White Mushroom House. We got the Secret Hammer Brother. We got the Mushroom House for the Frog Suit for 7-2. That's right. Okay. Now we go to World 3. World 3 is the world where I always used to forget where the White Mushroom House was, and oddly enough, it's like near the end of the world. It's in uh, World 3, Level 8. <laughs> 1 3 Warp Whistle is not required because I already have Warp Whistles in my inventory. 
right? I gave this a lot of thought. The other reason why 1-3 one, one, Warp Whistle also isn't required is not only do I already have a Warp Whistle in my inventory, but it's not a secret chest item within a level, it's a secret Mushroom House item that gives me the same thing that I already had, so... You are... It, it is a good thought in thinking, you know, you should get it, but in terms of getting one of every item, we already have... We already have a Warp Whistle. We need to collect in-level secret item chests, not um, Mushroom House secret item chests. Only the White Mushroom Houses, because they are very, very unique. Nah, the, the Mushroom House with the 1-3 Warp Whistle is just the normal Mushroom House. Nope, you do have to clear every level in this category. This is 100% all collectibles. I did create this category, yes. I, um... I don't know, like, I like 100%, but I feel like we're missing so much from it that I wanted to try and at least add more things. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid playing this game, I always tried to collect absolutely everything I could. I didn't know that I couldn't collect all the mushroom houses, but... Um... I always tried to get everything that I possibly could, even coins, even though that's, like, so silly. So, the Mushroom House in the top left there will also guarantee me a uh, frog suit. And I'm gonna get that as well. Because, like I said, 7-2 is very difficult for the White Mushroom House. And I want to make sure that I don't mess it up. Because if you mess it up and beat the level or something, you can't ever get it again. So, we want to be on the safe side. Right on. Alright. So this is one of the hardest levels to speedrun consistently. Oh, we nailed it. Okay, getting P-Speed is very hard. So, you're probably wondering why I waited at the start of that level. And I waited so that the moving platform that was going up and down hit a specific spot. So that when I jumped on it, the platform would be moving left and I would be moving right. And... The heavy resistance from the platform would cause me to build more P-meter arrows than standard ground, and that's essentially what, like, you know, let me... It's it's a really unique... It's so weird. I gotta start using items. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I did a speedrun where I got, like, a full inventory of items. That's also what makes this category cool, too, right? You get your full stock of inventory items. You're all ready whenever, whenever you get to World 8. You got all your goodies. Alright. There we go. Nice. There we go. Okay, so he didn't run away, so that's good. So I still need to fight the Hammer Brothers. And yes, we still get to do the beautiful auto-scrollers. The beautiful, beautiful auto-scrollers. Come on, Bam Bam, let's go! Didn't even touch the ground. He got his feet off the ground, and that's as far as he made it. He tried, though. Driving and I'm swerving. Yes, very, very fun. So, I don't need the spade card game. Um, it's weird how all collectibles work out. Can anyone tell me... Can anyone tell me where I'm going to get my leaf in my inventory? My leaves. Does anyone know? Where am I guaranteed to get uh, leaf inventory? It's a tri It's a little trivia. The hand stages. That's right. So it's really cool that when collecting inventory items. Um, so so. I know I got a mushroom. Okay, here's another trivia question for you guys. I know I got a mushroom in the spade card game but if i didn't get the mushroom in the spade card game where could i get the mushroom inventory item without doing the spade card game because there is a spot does anyone know where i can get a free mushroom in my inventory Ooh, you guys are thinking you guys are thinking Nope, no mushroom house. Nope. 
I won't go for a mushroom house to get a mushroom in my inventory. Nope, all three hand- all three hand stages give you flowers. Or, sorry, the leaf. Hammer Brothers do not give mushrooms. Yes, that is correct. The piranha plant in level- in- the piranha plant in World 7. The second piranha plant, right before you finish World 7, gives you a mushroom. So it's like- it's almost like this game was designed for 100% all collectibles. You can't- you can't deny it, guys. This is the hottest category. It's just- it's just so hot. So I don't have to collect any coins in this. For anyone wondering, if you beat this level with a P-switch- or sorry, if you guys beat this level with a P-wing, if you fly directly up from this point, there's a platform above me and some coins with a 1-up. But you need a P-wing to get up there. So, if any of you are at the stage at home playing and you have a P-wing, use it and get that secret at the end. Alright, so this is the first uh, big secret in this world for the All Collectibles run. This is where it changes from 100% to all collectibles. We hit this. Boom. We go up here. Yes, there is a secret item in the clouds here. What secret item do we get here? Dun, 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 dun. That would be an awesome... That would be an awesome item in the warpless category. But guess what? We can't use it. Alright, look at this, guys. Uh -huh. He's stuck. <laughs> um, whenever you do a screen transition in in any world, it doesn't matter what world you're in. Whenever you do a screen transition, the game gives you one free frame to do a movement. Whether it be open your inventory, press the A button, move left, right, up or down. So I just did a screen transition on the same tile of a Hammer Brother. And I used that free frame input to move down onto the fortress. And that allowed me to skip the Hammer Brother. I still have to fight him, but it's just silly to do that because whenever I beat the level, watch the Hammer Brother now. He's not he's not gonna move. He's just gonna he's just gonna sit there like a like a silly. Look at him. <laughs> nice try, bud. Alright, so our next important level coming up right here. A cloud in the sky, I don't believe it. Alright. Okay, so this is a very important level. I gotta focus. Ooh, that's... that's okay. Luckily, I have an extra flower in my inventory. Right? This is what's cool about this category, is you have extra uh, inventory items. Alright, so this is a little scary right now. I can't believe he got me. Okay, let's try that again. Luckily, we have extra fire flowers. All right. This is what makes this run so good. Okay, so we know we have... I don't need that. All right. And I know I don't need... Ooh, that was good. And I know I don't need that. Dude, getting fast, man. The sea creatures. Okay. Now that I have that, there we go. All right, we are safe now. Secret one up. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice, all right, we made it. Right on. That's what makes the category exciting is that it's like, oh, so many more things can happen now. There's so much more that you have to do in this category. That's what makes it a lot more fun. Whee! All right, what item is this, guys? <laughs> we're still hot, we're still hot. All right, an extra P-Wing. P-Wings are always, always good. All right. Last level. Luckily, we can kind of go pretty ham. Uh, one thing I should mention is that the objective is simply just to get the inventory item. You are allowed to use the inventory item. As long as it's confirmed in your inventory, you did collect it. Um, you can use it after. 
So, as an example, right now I don't have a fire flower in my inventory because, you know, I died and collected H. We got the H, guys. Spam that beautiful H. H get. Shine get. <laughs> All right, world three down. All right. See you later, world three. Will I be doing sub pixel manipulations in this category? Of course. When am I not doing sub pixel manipulations? Getting the H means I did the level without the without messing up jumping over the H. H in Mario 3 is a very important letter of the alphabet. Combo, we got them both. C -c 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 combo. God, I love those combos. Got to love those combos. Hey, just a reminder, everyone out there, it's uh, it's kind of dangerous outside, so we're gonna need a lot of we're gonna need a lot of you to stay home and be safe. All right, be very careful um, with the virus and everything. Do your best not to spread it. Always sanitize. Always wash. You know, try not to really cough on anyone. Of course, that goes without saying. Uh, just be safe, guys. Just be safe out there, okay? We need you guys. That's right, that's right. You guys gotta stay hydrated and wash those hands. All right, so hardest fire kill in the game coming up. This is gonna be stressful. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it. Whee! You'll go outside and defy me. Joke's on you, I'm already outside ready to kick your butt back inside. Nice try. <laughs> okay, so world four only has one secret in it, and that is 4-2. 4-2 is the white mushroom house. Now, 4-2 is actually pretty tough. And you guys, you guys are gonna see why. All right. Yeah, so nothing, World 4 doesn't have, oh, yeah. World 4 doesn't have anything too crazy special. World 5's got a good chunk of stuff. Speed run! Wee! Gotta go fast, guys. Ain't, ain't going slow. The only fire kill that you can do. Hey, man. It's a fire kill is a fire kill. We got him. <sighs> okay, so here's the white mushroom house for this stage right here. So I'm gonna take it nice and slow, make sure I don't mess anything up. Okay, so here's the first part. Um, there are coins right here and right here that I need to get, okay? Then we gotta activate the P-switch, but I'm gonna wait, because the water's gonna kinda screw me over a little bit here. Nailed it! All right. That's pretty tough. That can kind of that can kind of mess with your mind a little bit. The the P switch coin things, man. They were the, I swear Nintendo designed that to kind of make sure people didn't find them. I don't even know if I found white mushroom houses as a kid. Slip in the old game genie grant me three wishes maybe. I don't need to get another fire flower in my inventory. No. That was what I was mentioning earlier. Um, the, the check for percentage of the collectible is based simply on getting it in your inventory. After that, you can use it. You can definitely use it after it's been in your inventory. Um, the white mushroom houses in every single world counts as an individual collectible, not the, uh, not the actual item that you collect from the mushroom house is what you need. It's the mushroom house itself, because all the white mushroom houses are unique in their own. They deserve to be collected, right? We've been ignoring them for how long now, right? Years. It's about time the white mushroom mask get a little bit of love, you know? And the secret chest items. Ooh, got another cloud. All right, let's use the star here and try and make this fortress look very, very appealing. I don't need to use the star, but I don't have the extra fire flower, so I don't want to take a chance. I also have the extra star as well, so... And that was very, very sexy. Thank 
you, Mr. Sexy Mario. The anchor is the most OP item. The anchor is the worst item. <laughs> oh, and we just broke a useless lock that did nothing. Shortcut if you game over, though. Nintendo was very hyperactive on players game overing. That's right, game overing. That's my word. Um, and making sure that the player didn't get frustrated with the game, because when you game over, all the levels you beat, except for fortresses, turn back over and you have to redo them again, right? So without shortcuts, it would be very, very draining if you kept getting game overs and you just redo the same levels over and over. That's why they have hammers, breaking bricks, and locks with shortcuts. It's really cool. Once you unlock it, it's unlocked forever, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, so exactly. Since there's no saves, it makes a lot of sense. Game overing sucks, yeah. Guys, isn't Mario 3 just like the best game in the world? I, mean, I, I get this, like, I have nothing against this game. It's just so good. Look at this cool little speed right here. Ooh, nailed it. Look at that. And then the rap. Bill, love that. It's like the perfect backup uh, power up grab. Hmm. Uh, also, anyone wondering, I have been avoiding getting three of the same end cards to avoid fireworks fanfare the whole we're happy you got lives where i'm actually sad that i got lives so i could get the tanuki suit from the mushroom house in this world but it is random i'm not guaranteed to get it i'm guaranteed to get it if i use the hammer on the mushroom house at the beginning of this world but we are not doing that all right. I don't think I've missed anything yet. I haven't been hard pressed for any items in World 4. No, looking good. Okay, now we go to. All right, last fortress. Nice. P speed in this level, I don't want to say is overly difficult, but the platforms give you many variations of building speed. So it can actually screw you over as consistently as getting it. So it's, I don't know. It, it, this fortress has always been a weird fortress. It's like easy, but hard. I don't know. The stairs are like the hardest part. Yes, yeah, so if you get the fanfare with the fireworks, it goes, it goes a lot slower. What am I playing on? Uh, original NES, that OG Nintendo, right? Nothing else. Well, being as I'm on the airship, uh, I will say if you guys are really enjoying the Mario 3 content and the all collectibles and a lot of the speedruns, I am trying to get myself up to the 80,000 follower mark on my channel. So if you really enjoy what I have to offer, um, yeah, give me a follow. That'd be great. Thank you very much, guys. Just roll with it like these little screws. Sing, 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 sing. Sing, sing, sing. Yeah, for the most part, I don't have much to talk about during these um, airships, so I might as well plug myself in GDQ. Because GDQ is by far the best. I am Mitch Flower Power. And this is why this is the most boring part of Mario 3. But it's actually not too bad. I get to read a lot more chat and I get to hang out with you guys. Oh, oh man. So if I miss that jump right there, it's, it's not too bad. I don't actually lose any time. But this little fire gate here, this little fire jail is... Uh, it's stressful. So let's see if I can remember the 100% fire kill. It should be mashing, he shoots. Yep. And then rock him. Give him the old fireballs. Whee! Right on, nice. Uh, the, the fire kills in Mario 3 are probably some of the more complex uh, strategies in terms of consistency. 
Yeah. It's always a good time. As long as you guys are having fun. Okay, so objectives for World 5. We need 5 1 music box, secret item. We need Tanuki suit, and we need White Mushroom House. So we're going to have to use a P Wing here. Rip Fire Flower. This, that's why I wanted to get two Fire Flowers. I could have actually done this with the Fire Flower. I wonder if I should have done that. It would have been silly. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so, secret item. Alright, um... I think I'm actually gonna grab the Fire Flower in this level, just so that I have it. It'll make doing 5-3 easier. Uh, it is a time loss, but I'm not too worried about it. We're here having fun. So for anyone wondering, this is what's in this pipe, right? I get to do a cool speed strat right here, watch. I'm gonna come out of here, big duck jump, run down the hill. Yeah, that's so cool to do. Those are strategies that you guys would never see in a speed run. Because that backup fire is a lot slower, and if you lose fire, it's kind of close to reset. Alright. Oh! See? Almost. We gotta get this Mushroom House. This Mushroom House guarantees the Tanuki suit. Yeah! Tanuki suit! So we got Anchor, we got Cloud, Stars, P-Wings, Music Box, Tanuki suit. The only thing we're missing is a Leaf and Hammer suit. And we are good to go. I'm going to use a music box here to clean up my inventory just a little bit. I think after this level, I might actually go in my inventory and use a uh, anchor as well. Just to kind of clear it up a bit. Would it be slower to slide down the hills? No. Um, if, with, the, with the tail, yes, it would be slower. But, uh, as Big Mario, it wouldn't have been slower. But, I didn't slide down the hill because I wanted to get P-Speed when I entered the pipe so I could try and keep it upon exiting. Okay. Serious speed strats here. I haven't really done this level in a long time, but this level is so specific, it's one of those hard-to-forget levels. This level is definitely one of those hard-to-forget levels. Little safety strat there. There's definitely a much better way to do it, but... Well, I mean, it's not that much better. It's a little bit. Alright! Got the flower. So, all I have left is the Hammer Brothers Twisty Castle, and the first section of World 5 is completed. The Hammer Brother on the bottom right now is the only space in World 5 that gives you an item. And unfortunately, I cannot do that. Yeah, that's what the anchor does. If you die on the airship... So I'm gonna- I'll use the anchor now, it doesn't do anything now. It just means that if I die on the airship, it won't go anywhere. So let's- let's think of alternatives where the anchor is actually useless. Um... Okay, if you use a cloud on the last level of the world and go straight to the castle... Actually, that would actually be a bad usage of the anchor. World 7 would be a good usage because you wouldn't have to go searching through the pipes, but I mean Back then it wasn't really much about speed. I'm not sure actually when a good usage of the anchor would be Just simply not having to traverse through the world anymore. I guess is the only The only thing All right, Twisty Tasta completed at 280. So 5-5 five, five is the White Mushroom House level, so don't forget it, guys. This is also a butt-clenching level. Very scary. But luckily, very consistent. I was mentioning the other day that if any of those flipper platforms and stuff were moved just a little bit, or even that turtle, if it was moved up a little bit, the whole thing actually probably wouldn't work as well as it does. There's so many levels in this game that would be much harder if things were just slightly moved a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use a music box as well here. Kind of clear up my inventory. All right. We're gonna take it slow. Because we're gonna try and go for the... We gotta get these. All right. 
Nice, we gotta get that. This is the scary part. Okay. Alright, now let's go back. I think... Come here, bud. Come here. Alright. I don't know if there's actually coins here. Yes, there is. <laughs> Alright. Now what we can actually do is get an extra coin to be saved. So this level's weird with the fact that it's got a pipe transition in it. Because you need to get X amount of coins, but you could just keep going through the pipe transition and get unlimited coins. Like, that level is honestly never-ending coins. Alright. The scariest part is actually the donut section. I love donuts just as much as you guys, but they're very scary in that section. Alright, so I'm going to use my extra music box again, clear out that inventory. We've got a lot of secrets in our inventory right now. How dare you guys look in, inside my inventory. You figure this would be a great all coins level for the White Mushroom House, but uh, I guess they decided to choose the other level. Alright. There are there are a crap ton of speed strats for this category that I do have, but um, I want to I wanna showcase some of the uh, exciting things about what makes this run unique, instead of just being like, I gotta grind the world record right now! <laughs> If you enter that pipe, guys, right away, sometimes the wall squishes you and you die. It's kind of... It's kind of sad. Kind of sucks. Alright. Back to the grind, you guys. That Hammer Brother has been asleep for so long. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot how to do this level. It's been a while since I've done this level properly. Well, without a star, I guess. All right, come to daddy. Ah, oh, wait, I might as well use a cloud. Yeah, use up that inventory. All right. So we just have our standard last levels in this world. Ooh, we should have gone for the clip. Clip would have been good. Is that a dabbing cheeseburger? Can't say I object to a dabbing cheeseburger. Ooh, I thought he was going to spawn. Do I like fish sticks? Love them. Alright. See you later, Bam Bam. Should I use another music box? Do I have one? Let's see if I have one. Let's go. <laughs> There's not even a hammer, brother. The funny thing is, is like we're still doing this incredibly fast. Right? I'm still applying all my speed strats, right? Whee! Alright, guys. Our favorite level in the game. Let's go. Here it is. Uh... This level's not so bad. What, what truly makes this bad level, or what truly makes this level bad, is that it's unique in its scrolling mechanics. To the point where we can't even get it unscrolled and randomized. That's how bad this tr level truly is. Not for what it stands for in vanilla, it's for what it stands for in randomizer is what makes it bad. Yeah, this is kind of like Butter Bridge, huh? We stand here, fire comes up. The fire is like homing missile, it's weird. Oh yeah, this is my favorite level. There's so much imagination done within that level. Getting good with the clouds. 
Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Alright. Beep. Alright, so, guys. Everyone in chat, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you guys like all collectibles so far? On a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being, this is an amazing category. 1, I could live without this category. Kind of sucks. I want to know what you guys think. 1 to 10, what is this category? What is your number? I need to know right now. This is live, yes. A two, I saw a two in there. We got an eight. 5.7, did I just see? 7.5, not bad. Right on, the majority of people enjoy this category. Pretty cool. It's so much, I don't know, speedrunning's awesome and like world record grinds, like, if this is a category, you know, I obviously grind the world record. Technically, I have the world record in this category with a one, one hour and 17 minute run, which is only, well, I mean, that's seven minutes from the 100% the world record. But that's justified. Extra auto-scrollers, extra stuff. I love collecting all the extra stuff, man. It's so much fun. Okay, we should be able to fire kill here. Take that! Oh, uh, no off-screen wand grab. And split. Right on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the white mushroom houses are really fun, right? I agree. Okay, so world six. Mission objectives. Uh, all Hammer Brothers. Uh, can you guys, do you guys know which level in world six is the white mushroom house? Trivia. Timer's counting down, guys. Five seconds left. I really like the, the Kings, dude. <laughs> Six, eight. Whee! Just to be safe. Yes, level six, or sorry, world six, level seven. And what's interesting about the uh, white mushroom house in that level is I actually need to keep the fire flower throughout it. When I was a little kid, one of my favorite things about that level was fire flowering all of the frozen coins. I used to love, I used to love unfreezing the coins so much. I don't know why that was such like a big thing for me as a kid. It was like unfreezing the ice blocks with the firepower. Yeah, you had the power all right. Oh yeah. Why no card game? Uh, which card game? The matching for the lives or the memory? Oh yeah, we're still speedrunning this. Without a doubt, I'm still trying really hard to speedrun and go fast. Maybe I beat my record, I don't know. This game is fire. This, I, I will go down in history saying that Mario 3 is the best speed game, one of them because of the massive amounts of RNG and the repetitive and constant replay value. I've been speedrunning this game for over 10 years and I've never reached my max potential. I haven't, I don't even think I've been close to reaching my max potential. And that's because no matter how good I am, the game still has to give me a chance. And that, that allows you to play it forever. And to me, that is a good game. One that you can play forever. But that's only my opinion. Everyone holds video games close to their heart in their own way, and I respect that. It's one of the best games of all time. It's one of them, I guess. Pretty good. Okay, so I don't need that Mushroom House. Alright, we're gonna go for the damage boost here, guys. Very scary strategy right here. Oh, please don't! Alright, we made it. Okay, so we should be pretty safe from here. Alright, get the star. All right, everyone's favorite thing, the upside down orb. Orb. Got him. All right. 
Not missing any secret items. This level's a bit trolly. Now, do we need that mushroom house, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh, did we get it? No. Do we need that mushroom house, ladies and gentlemen? That is the question. I just took a little sip of my sippity sip, my little drinkity drinks. Get my little drinkity drinks going. Because I'm small Mario, I'm actually going to attack this level first. This is one of the more scary levels in 100%. It's not actually that difficult, but what it makes it hard is that you don't know if you got the despawns, and the swimming can be really topsy-turvy at times. Right? If I touch a wall, I'm screwed. If I don't, I'm screwed. I don't know what. Okay, so I didn't get the despawn. Oh. Boy, is that ever scary. I do not like that level. Oh, watch out! The guy at the end, too! What a troll. What a troll. Collectibles, for the most part, means you need collectibles. That's right. I know a lot of people want... I know a lot of people want me to use that... 1-3 to get the warp whistle, but I don't know. I really don't feel like... Well, maybe we do add it in. Maybe, maybe it's something we can discuss with the community and add it in later. Uh, community debates when it comes to speedrunning. But the thing is, is this category is very young in terms of anyone running it. Nobody nobody really runs it yet. It's kind of a category I made up on my own that one day I would like to see get traction. I really hope it does. It's it's it's, it's a very unique category in its own. So uh, I created this category about maybe a year and a half ago, I'd say. I remember doing an all collectibles run maybe two years ago. But I also drop it myself and go to like warp lists and all the other stuff. All right, so do not forget the fire flower. Ooh, I forgot the mushroom house, guys. Remind me at the end of this level, guys. Get that mushroom. Don't let me forget that mushroom house, guys. Am I Canadian? I am Canadian, yes. Uh-oh. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I can miss one coin? You guys think I can miss one? I think I can miss one coin. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. This is gonna be epic. You guys are gonna love this. What? The game, the game jabated us. That's okay, guys. We have workarounds for that. The game definitely does not like us. For some reason that didn't count, I guess. But we have we have workarounds. That's what's awesome about this category. I can't believe that didn't work. That was so awesome. I don't need to reset now. We got lots of time, guys. 
That's actually kind of a very silly way that that, that didn't work. Like, I feel like what I did should have worked. I missed the coin, but normally, normally you wouldn't get that coin. Now I'm like, no, I don't need that Koopa. I, I can't believe that that Koopa didn't register as one of the coins. Maybe, did my coin count increase when I got the Koopa or no? That's very strange. Exciting. I have lots of clouds. I'm right back to that level. Alright, we're back at it. Okay, let's not miss a coin now. Should be easy peasy, right guys? God, I love this category so much. The fact that I can that I can warp out of this world and save the category too is like, I think that's really cool. In other categories, you can't really do that. All right, make sure we get rid of that P speed. Should I still save that Koopa again? Just in case? I wonder if the Koopa like messes anything up. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got all the coins. There is no more coins to get. We got them all. Uh-oh. Mitch, where's the coin? Where's the coin? Where's, where's the white mushroom house, Mitch? Don't leave it behind. Please, Mitch. Don't leave the white mushroom house behind. We need it. God, this run's awesome. I like this run so much. We're gonna utilize Nintendo's abilities here. Dun 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 dun. Bum bum. Hi, little guy. How's it going over here, little white mushroom house? Nope, I use the uh, unique, you know, the unique world design to backtrack because I use clouds, right? Because I already, I already did all these. Whee! I don't need to get the hammer suit from the mushroom house. It's right there in my inventory. I already got it. We already got it. Thank you, though. I do need those reminders. I don't think there's anything else left for me to get in this world, except perhaps not 20 FPS would be nice. The anchor, unfortunately, is not very wonderful. Sneaky, sneaky. I had you guys going. You were like, Mitch, how are you going to do this? Something I do not get to do in Warpless. However, the Warpless route does include actually using a P-Wing in 6-9, uh, but with the new route and 5-1 and all that stuff, it's... Uh, not anymore. Okay, so this is a very hard strategy to do, guys. I'm gonna try really hard to get it. Epic! That is not a strategy you see every day. Epic! Oh no, not a coin ship. Not a coin ship. Get out of here, coin ships. We don't need you, crap. 
So I recently learned that you can do Piranha Plant Jump right there. Save a little bit of time. Yo, that conveyor jump is so hard. All right. So I need to explain some things to you guys while I'm on this airship. I'm going to go for what is called a subpixel manipulation. The clips in the walls, everyone knows about the clips. You all know about the clips. The duck jump clips into the corner of walls and then you, you zip through the wall. Those are heavily based on your subpixel values. Your subpixel value goes from zero to 15 and essentially every frame you move will increase your subpixel value by one or if you're moving left, it'll decrease your subpixel value by one. So if I'm standing here and I move left, my subpixel value is decreasing from 15 to zero and if I move right, it's increasing from zero to 15. When I grab the wand on the airship, I want my subpixel value to be either 14 or 15. If I can successfully do that, which is very difficult, then I can do a standing clip in 7-1 and hopefully get it first try. If I don't want to do standing clip, I want to try and get a subpixel value of 0 to 6. That way I can do the duck jump clip. 0 to 6 is a much bigger window to achieve, much easier to get from 0 to 6 if you're moving rather than only 14 and 15. But what kind of marathon run would it be if I didn't go for the heavy stuff, right? That's right, we call them Mitch's Manips. Manip manipulations. I am scared for my life for 7-2 right now. I'm, I'm not gonna go for the fire kill either. I don't really need to go for it. So I'm gonna move right one pixel and then I'm gonna try and move left one pixel perfectly. There we go. All right. So if I did that correctly, I did do one input after I moved, which might have circled me over to like 13 or 12, but I definitely moved one pixel left. So if I did the manipulation correctly, that means I can do the standing jump, jump clip into the corner. However, I can still mess up my input. Uh, it is still a frame perfect jump into the corner of the wall to get the clip first try. I did flip the controller, yep. I did my controller flip, so get your praise out. Let's go! So I successfully landed on subpixel 14 or 15. I'm gambling that I landed on 14. All right, scary times, guys. This is very scary. I am very scared. Okay, so. So I get all this. I'm gonna take this nice and slow to make sure we don't mess it up. Okay, so I hit the P switch. All right, I nail those. And then those, and that's it. Okay. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> Talk about your scare twos. So we're gonna take damage here. There's no more coins, so we're gonna try and go for this clip here. I definitely didn't want that. Okay, now so that I have that, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, fly over. Well, either way, either way, we're going. So there actually, I don't know any speed strats that we can develop with this. I think actually I just figured out a speed strat that I can develop for this. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's gonna be exciting. Up until now, there wasn't really any speed strats that you can use for this level, because you have to start with a frog suit. Right? So it's very scary. Very, very scary. Oh. I I am really enjoying this run. Even if this run...
GDK, I think every I think we'd all be having a really fun time. Big brain time, guys. Big brain time. Hello, you found my shop of strange and wonderful things. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, they're always like anchors or P-wings, aren't they? Okay, so we have successfully collected everything. We have collected everything. So now we just need to brute force our way through this game. Let MFP out of his cage. It is time. Am I gonna use a P Wing for 7 6? Of course not. No way. Ooh, that is a swaggy shell grab, isn't it? Kinda sexy. Ho ho ho! Everything's just getting hotter and hotter now that I'm out of my cage. <laughs> what? Did you guys see that? It like went through the wall. Come on, guys. I know you saw that. That, wa that was epic, okay? That needed to happen. <laughs> it like went into the wall and then it fell. D oh my god, that was so silly. Epic. I love it. I'm gonna do some really cool strategies at the end of World 7, guys. Really cool hammer strats. Sea creatures, sea creatures, they creatures, sea creatures are in the sea seas. <laughs> sea creatures are sea creatures in the sea, cause sea creatures are from the sea seas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they really are sea creatures come from the sea creatures. <laughs> You guys will never not hear me singing that now, so you are infected. I don't normally sing, so you guys should be happy that I did it for you. I don't remember how to do this, but I think when he gets close to me, I drop, yep. See, creatures, creatures are creatures. <laughs> what? Get out of here. RNG my butt, dude. All right, now he's stuck behind there. Yeah, stay back there. One and done ya. Poor choice of words? Well, of course, that's what makes it funny. There's, there is an actual... There, there's no actual lyrics to the song, so I can really just sing whatever comes into my mind at the time. Don't ever sing that again, you suck. Well, this wasn't very nice. That was kind of rude. Here I am, putting on the good show for you. All right. So we do need to do the piranha plant stages. All right. Nice and successful. I am gonna go. I am gonna go for crazy, uh, crazy cool speed speed p speed strategy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do another sub pixel manipulation here, where I'm gonna move one pixel to the right and then kind of tap a little bit to guarantee that I cycle at least between sub pixel three and ten. I know a lot of this doesn't make huge sense, but you just sit back and watch. I definitely did not get it, <laughs> but I'm going to try for it. Yeah, there's no way I got it. Come on. So that was two perfect attempts. Three perfect attempts. There you go. Fourth perfect attempt. Right on. That's pretty fast. Uh, I will try. I will, I'll try seven, seven, a couple tries, guys. I'll go for seven a couple times. The seven, seven. 
For anyone who's watching my world record grinds, you know what I'm about to do. This level is friends to no one. Ooh, I almost got a first try there. Oh, I almost got it right there too. That was so close. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, the game hates me. I already did it perfect, but I got bad RNG. When you come to a dead stop like that, that means you just... All, essentially, I just got bad RNG. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go for another sub-pixel manipulation right here. So what I'm gonna do is I, I found my star, so I'm gonna move one pixel to the left. There you go. I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna this level's really hard. So wish me luck. I didn't do a turn, and I didn't shoot a single hammer on the uh, on the ground. Oh my gosh! All right, so according to my plans, this first sub pixel should let me in. Oh, my life sucks. <laughs> we almost made it, guys. There it is. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna call it safe. We're gonna call it safe. Let's go, get out of here. Quick, run! We're two for two. Uh, so you guys just witnessed a brand new, a brand new developed hammer suit strategy in that level. So there's one thing that you guys didn't notice that I did, but I didn't shoot a single hammer when I was on the ground. That's one thing you guys wouldn't have noticed. It's okay. Hey! You go by now. Nice, nice. We're safe. Let's go. Nice try, Hammer. I don't think so. Nice play it a little safe there. Yeah, let's go. Uh, for some reason, I forgot that using a star at the beginning of that level, which I never do, I was doing it for safety, doesn't actually get me to the next section. So, um, so I had to play it safe there. And we need to do this because the last mushroom item for our inventory. But we did get lucky with the spade card game. All right. Unfortunately, guys, with all collectibles, there's really nothing special. There's really nothing special. Uh, if I didn't get a mushroom in the spade card game, the last collectible would, would... Well, no. Actually, sorry, I take that back. The last collectibles are on the hand traps. I still don't have a leaf in my inventory. I still need the leaf in my inventory. That World 7 actually went really well. I really enjoyed that World 7. Whee! That was close. I almost died there. I cannot believe I pulled off that 7-8. Um... I was really nervous because if I lose my hammer suit, that's it, right? You have to do all the hand levels anyways, that is correct, yes. Hands, you say, huh? Uh, okay, so what do we have coming up? We have an any percent warpless run coming up right after this run. So um, Honestly, if you guys want to go to the bathroom or get snacks or drinks or you know go and Go and kiss your loved one or something like that. Go do that now because we have this auto scroller and then two more auto scrollers Before uh, world 8 actually gets interesting. So you guys have a little bit of time to go and um Stretch, go to the bathroom, do what you gotta do. 
No, so if I shoot hammers on the ground, it will change my subpixel value because I'm letting go and repressing B, which means I'm slowing down. But if I throw hammers in the air, I don't have any ground resistance, so I actually don't slow down and I don't my subpixels don't change. So I have to do 7-8 without a single turn back and I have to throw every single hammer in the air. I can't throw any on the ground or else it changes my subpixel. You have time to do your taxes? I want to say no, but you also have a very... Didn't we all just get a big extension on our taxes when we need to pay, I think? Whee! Yes, do not forget to hydrate. Mm -hmm. You're right, I did assume that you didn't bring your cell phone to the bathroom. That was my bad, guys. My bad. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, you took your dogs for a walk? Nice. Dude, I love doggies. I'm a, I'm a really big pets guy. All right. Look at Mario. It looks so weird <laughs> in the hammer suit. Looks like some weird creature. Did you guys see that secret message? All right. This is something I mention to new crowds every time I get a new crowd. All right. This might be something that none of you know about Mario 3. The b bombs flash the primary color of the suit that Mario's wearing, okay? So Mario is more white than anything right now with his white shoes, his hat, his shell, right? Oh my gosh. So that means that the b bombs they're gonna flash white. If I was standard Super Mario, my primary color would be red. I'm not saying primary color as in the official primary colors. When I say primary color, I mean the primary color that Mario is. You know, what he's most... What he's most. And right now he's mostly white, so the bombs will flash white. If you're Luigi, if you're Luigi, the bombs will flash green. Right? If you're Fire Flower Mario, the bombs will flash orange. If you're Super Mario, the bombs will flash red. Yes, the palette color, that is correct. The main color, the primary color, the main color, all the same. They would be green for Luigi, that's right. But if Luigi was Fire Flower Mario, they would they would go back to orange. That's the other weird thing about this game. Fire Flower Luigi and Fire Flower Mario are the exact same sprite. Tanuki Mario would be brown, yes. And Frog Suit would be green as well. Isn't that weird? That's something that you would never really be able to notice Unless, you know, you were someone like me who kind of speedruns a lot. I've been on this airship with a lot of different power-ups, so I've been able to notice it. The dominant color. All right. Wiggle wiggle. Let's go. Why, though? Is it for saving memory? I would, I would gamble on some kind of shortcut for something, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, off-screen snipe. So, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun, guys. Try and cross the hand bridge first to see if we get no hands. So I want everyone in chat right now to guess how many hands you guys think I'm going to get. <laughs> I don't know what this liquid that this boat is in, but I'm not drinking it. I will not test it. Come on, we gotta try for no hands. We gotta have fun with it. Ooh, almost got that dart. All you non-faithers, where's the where's the zero guesses? We gotta get no hands, guys. If I get no hands, that'll be so sad because I just did warpless for like two months almost, one and a half months, and I haven't got no hands yet. And I've been grinding for the world record recently, and I haven't got no hands yet. Luckily, I haven't gotten pulled in on a run that's like perfect world record yet, so it's okay. All right, let's go for those no hands. Water from Flint, Michigan. Yeah, they had the documentary on that. All right. Come on, no hands. Ah! The powerful 99.9% .9 chance hand every time, you guys. No escaping it. Uh, the birds are napping. The birds are napping. Right? 
Oh man, two hands. And 100%, you still want to enter the hand stage rather than be pulled in by the hand. The hands pulling you in wastes you like 1.1 seconds each time. Right? You, I can, I can, like if I got no hands, I could go over the hand stage and enter it with A, just like a normal level. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot believe this. Well, we did it. We made it possible, guys. We got the we got the opposite RNG that we want. Instead of no hands, we got all hands. Oh, those hands. Oh, those hands. All right. Everyone loves this airship. You guys remember the good olden days using a P-wing on this airship? Super duper safe. Although I will say I used a P-wing in this level in randomizer couple days ago maybe last week and i got like squished by the screen and that's never happened to me before so you gotta watch out for that random as heck you guys no i'm not going for the scary jump we leave that scary jump alone Dude. Dude. well i hope all of you guys are having fun and i i hope you guys are really enjoying the all we got kind of uh, frigged up by the uh, that one white mushroom mouse, but luckily with this category, with the warp whistles, we can just come right back. So that's pretty good. I did know that, Victor. I did. It's just the way it is. All right. Let's do the fun levels now. All right. We're going to use a star here. Is this level scary? It's really not. I just never trust my hammers, which I should because I trust them in some of the hardest levels. We still have the same hammer suit that we equipped after the first fortress in World 7. So we've had the same hammer suit for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 levels here. Right on. All right, guys, watch the sun. The sun is going to have a very, very bad day. Oh, never mind, I missed. Wait. We still might be able to get him. Come on, hit the sun! Yeah! <laughs> we got him! Take that, Mr. Sun. Nice, dude. Yeah, how do you like how do you like that, Mr. Sun? Whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yes, do not look directly into the sun. Yeah. All right, did we did we make it through this run, guys, without earthquake in Utah? I hope I didn't jinx it right now, but I think we're I think we're pretty good. Utah was actually hit with a 5.7 earthquake today. It woke me up out of bed, and I got up and I had no idea what was going on. I'm trying to walk upstairs, but I couldn't. Okay, we're gonna go for the overkill, guys. Check this out. This is going to be crazy if we get it. Oh! Did you hear how many times we hit him? I hit him so many times that he blew up and did the, the upside down orb. Oh, that's so cool, man. That's so cool. Did you guys... Did you hear the hitbox? It was like... And then... And then he died. Dude, this run has been awesome, man. Salt Lake was crazy this morning, I know. It was really hard to go back to sleep. I'm a fan of Salt Lake's new alarm clock. Super duper overkill, that's right. Yeah, I was just like, and then he died. Alright, Borzer. Alright, Borzer. We need to pave Peach. Uh, I mean, technically, I've been playing Mario my whole life. 
Come on, let's pave that peach. And remember, time stops as soon as I enter the doorway of Bowser's castle. Yes, peach is paved. Let's go. Luckily, this level is easier vanilla than randomizer. Thank God. All right, we do our awesome stair climb. Our trusted one-up clip. That failed. I thought I could trust you, Mr. One-Up. Thought I could. All right, an awesome statue room. And Bowser's down. <laughs> he just dies so fast. If you guys really enjoyed this, I do do world record grinds every single day on my stream. So don't forget to give Mitch Flower Power a follow. All right, and time. Right on. I'm curious to see what my time is. Right on. That was a very good run. I hope you guys all enjoyed that run. Uh, there is more from me tonight. I am not done yet, actually. And as I was just talking about world record attempts, I've been doing that on Warpless. So I am going to be doing a Warpless Super Mario Bros. 3 run next, where I do not complete everything, and I try and go as fast as I can through all the worlds. Um, lots of RNG, lots of ways for me to get screwed over. But first... What we are going to do is we're going to do a short little intermission. I'm going to send you guys back to Sky. She's going to hook you up. So see you soon, guys. All right. Thank you so much for that all collectibles from Mitch. That was awesome. And I definitely think that can be the hot new category. So remember, folks, random number generation and other shows such as specials, such as what Mitch is doing right now, is brought to you by viewers like you. If you would like to support the stream as well as the other programs on GDQ Hot Picks, please consider subbing to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, remember you do have a Twitch Prime sub, so please consider using that if you have not already to sub to the channel. We're going to take a quick ad break and and then Mitch will be back with Warpless. We will be right back, folks.
Alright folks, welcome back to GDQ Hotfix. This is the Mitch Flower Power Special. We just saw all collectibles. Now we're about to see Warpless. So without further ado, Mitch, take it away and good luck. What's going on, guys? It's me. I'm back. All right, so now what we are doing is we are going to do the any percent warpless category and much like what I was saying before, this is the category where I try and go really all out and world record grind. It's one of the more common categories. Much like any other speed games, there's always 100% any percent warpless categories, mainly for a lot of uh, community-based speedruns. And yeah, I'm going to do warpless. Uh, before I jump right in, there's a couple of things that I need to mention to you guys. World 3 has something called Runaway Bro. And if I get Runaway Bro, that is a very big time loss. Essentially, what happens is the Hammer Brother runs past the level that I can't get to him at in time, and I need to fight both the Hammer Brothers in that world. Um, that is actually, right now, the only big deal breaker in Warpless. Luckily, in a marathon, we have, we have backups and strategies to avoid that. If the Hammer Brother runs away on this run, which it totally can, there's nothing stopping it. But if the Hammer Brother runs away on this run, essentially what I will do is I'll enter the auto-scroller quickly. I will take a death. I will grab the mushroom in the next level after I use my cloud because the bridge will be closed. And then I'm going to try and grab my fire flower in the next level. So if we get runaway, bro, guys, do not get your hopes up for H jump. I will not be able to do H jump because getting fire flower back and having it all through world four and the fire kill is uh, way more important than any than anything. It's way more important than the H jumps. We're just going to we're just going to put that out there. All right. So let's get this run going. Uh, let's go for a countdown. We're going to do three, two, one, and then on go. So. Three, two, one, go. We're still going to do some pretty safe strats, but more or less, uh, I'm still going to go out all out for some warpless. I'm going to treat this like a normal warpless attempt. So get your fingers ready on that tunnel emote. Sorry, any mistake is like, it's a... All right. Uh, just a just a quick question. Um, I just want to make sure. Uh, how is everything looking? Is the stream looking good? Um, buffering frame rate, all that stuff look good. I just want to make sure everyone's happy. Make sure we're looking good. Uh, yes. You guys all need to guess what time you think I'm going to get in World One. Am I going for early hammer? I am not early hammer. No. Oh, come on, dude. I was like a pixel away. Stream looking good. All right. Dude, I was... Yes, you guys can go ahead and try and guess for my world one time. However, there's not... to be. All right. Get your tunnel fingers ready. Come on, tunnel. We need you. Ah, oh, so close. We tried, guys. Oh, and two. Reset. Reset. I will be doing Rift Rose as well, yes. <laughs> no, we're not reset. This run's still actually really good, too. And as you can see, I'm going for pretty top tier strats. It's just unfortunate not getting that fly. What's Riff? Uh, Riff is a Mario 3 game. Riff 
very excited. So I am going to still be doing um, commentary for this run, obviously, but there are going to be high focus places. I, I just looked at my timer to see what my A press was, but I don't have a timer. So like, as you can see, I'm, I'm really trying to take this uh, run seriously. I really want to display what a world record attempt for Warpless looks like. Um, I know I'm I know I'm in the marathon setting, and I will always take marathon settings safe, uh, especially when I'm at a GDQ. But right now, we're doing hot fix. So I think you guys need to see what it's like for the intense world record strategies. So let's go. How many fractions of an A press? I am a professional button masher. My buttons, they gotta get pressed. Yes, very strategic fire kill. All right, here we go. And split, whatever that time was. Somebody must have won, I'm sure. I do not have splits going, no. I, I'm curious as what the time would have been. Shooting fireballs is definitely a part of the, the speedrunning code mashing. Have you guys ever watched Ocarina of Time speedruns? Everyone's like, you know, for like 50 minutes for the first cutscene. That's five minutes. I don't know where I got 50 minutes. All right, let's go. World 2, the Hammer Brother that we can see right now, we do not want to fight him. He's got a music box that we do not need. If we fight him, we lose 10 seconds. The Hammer Brothers move on the overworld map based on the frame you end the level on, so it could be anything. So whatever frame I hit that card at, uh, we'll see where he moves. But if he moves left, we can most likely avoid him. Okay, that's good. Especially if he moves left again. So we're guaranteed to avoid him, which is really good. And that is one of our biggest first components of RNG in the Warpless run. Warpless has a lot of them, so get ready. All right, here we go. My world one was a 342. Yeah, that was the fortress because the fly, I got pixeled while trying to fly up. All right, so that's kind of a bad movement. Now it's now it's all over the place right now. Unless we somehow get a GDQ no death early hammer, that would be epic. So we'll see what's going on. Logic with the gift sub. The game's done quick. Thank you very much. Every ounce of support that we get right now during the hotfix goes to all components of GDQ. All support, charities, GDQ events, everything, so... All very much appreciated. Alright, Bam Bam, let's go! <laughs> the birds are sleeping right now, guys. I'm Alright, come back left. Ah, oh, you jerk. You jerk, alright, so... We're gonna have to try and maneuver around the second half of the world. If I get forced to fighting him, there's nothing I can do about it. But at least it's not like a, a reset mistake kind of thing, right? At least it's not too bad. Pretty dope backup right there. That actually used to be the, the legitimate strategy for this level. The birds won't starve, don't worry. I, they have they have a lot of food where, where they are right now. They got a lot of food. They're, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Let's go. All right. Okay. Oh, that is not good. Okay, so this is a very, very bad world too. Mainly because I have to wrap around and then get mega lucky. Unless they switch right here and then I... Who knows, man? Let's just wait, wait and find out. Let's see what they do. Alright, switch. Okay, that was bad. Hopefully he moves back up past the level. That'll be really good. Alright, that level done really well. Where can you learn about how to speedrun this game? If you go to speedrun.com and search Mario 3, there's resources there. Alright, come back up. Oh, these hand Okay, maybe if they switch here, I get a chance? Like, this is... This RNG. 
Yes, yes, guys, using that Twitch Prime. Don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it with your Twitch account. You get one free subscription. Use it on GDQ, guys. Help support, help charities, and it's free for you, so. All right, okay, come on, HBs. Let's go, switch it up. Switch it up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, switch, switch, switch. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Okay, this is good. Andy, move backwards. All right, move left, Hammer Brother. Come on, move left. We don't want to fight you. If he moves left right here, incredible. Come on. No, he can't move left. If a Hammer Brother is facing right, it's impossible for him to move left. So, yeah. What a surprise. World 2. Nice world too. Oh, guys, we got a hype train going right on. Thank you guys so much. This is just an awesome day. Oh, sorry guys. Let me uh, let me rephrase that. All, all revenue from subs right now go to the GDQ Hotfix uh, programs and stuff like that. Um, not to any uh, charity right now. I just wanna I just wanna clear that up. But I think at the end of the day, support is support, so we really, really much appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure, make sure I cleared that up. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, it's not stopping the hype train, though. It's not stopping the hype train. Isn't there, isn't there another little silly term for the hype train? Yes, yes. Subs go to the GDQ Hotfix programming right now. Yes. I'd like to blame Mario 3 stake right there. Uh, that was all Mario 3's fault. <laughs> Mario 3 consumes 97.8% of my brain power, so most of the things that I say. Alright, now I should be able to do a legitimate fire kill here, right? It should be 100%. Nope. I'm not even gonna test it. So, getting... Getting that second uh, Hammer Brother in World 2 is not as bad as Runaway Bro. Anything is better than Runaway. Any, any, I swear, honestly, any RNG is better than the alternative of Runaway Bro. Yeah. Run away, bro. So that that hammer brother in the top right corner. Okay, that hammer brother in the top right corner. If he runs off the screen, we call that run away, bro. We do not want that to happen. We definitely do not want that to happen. Am I going for door three? I don't know. Should we go for door three? Kinda scared. I will say though, having the extra music box from World 2 will allow me to use it somewhere else in the world to kind of guarantee safety. Oh no, he moved up. Oh, please. Please don't give me the instant runaway, bro. Oh, we got this level too. Right on, look at that. Look at us go, you guys. This is a, this is a, this is a pretty good run. I mean, we're gotten some bad RNG, uh, the Fortress in World 1 and the Hammer Brother in World 2, but oh my goodness. We're really killing these speed strats. Don't do it! He did it! This is the first two moves! What a jerk! So what he just did, what that Hammer Brother just did, is the absolute worst. You do not want him to do that. Alright, so... We gotta hope that he comes back, or we gotta hope that I don't fight this Hammer Brother coming up. If the Hammer Brother moves right, I'm forced to fight him. Actually, no, he could potentially move out of the way. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Just as long as he doesn't go... Oh my gosh, he came back. Oh, what is happening? My emotions are... These Hammer Brothers... This is why Mario 3 is the craziest speedrun. Okay? Everything that I'm saying, they're just doing the complete opposite and just twist-turning all of my emotions and thoughts. He ran away, but he came back. And the other Hammer Brother? I don't know what the heck he's doing. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, we're safe. Okay.
Okay, I'm committing. I don't really have a choice. I kind of have to fight this guy. All right, move left or down. Yes, we are safe. We did it. I cannot believe this, this game, man. This game defies all laws in the universe. It's its own entity of everything. It just does whatever it wants. It doesn't care. Oh, Mario 3. We made it, though. We got good and bad RNG. Look at him. Nice try, buddy. No more moves left. So, the bridge... We're about to cross a bridge. And if we didn't fight this Hammer Brother, the bridge would still be open. And that's why it's really bad. You see this bridge? Close. Boom. Now I can cross the bridge. If the Hammer Brother was past this part, I wouldn't be able to cross the bridge, right? The bridge opens and closes every single level that I do. And it closes, opens and closes on deaths too, so you can't soft lock. It would just be really unfortunate, but we nailed it. I better not get all movements before. All right, remember, remember that sad story I said about not going for the H jump? Now we can go for it. Oh, overworld bump. Yo, congratulations guys, and thank you so much on that hype train. We made it, guys. Ooh, that's a big one. 17 subs, 200 bits, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys are all incredible. And thanks for watching these runs, man. But more importantly, thank you, GDQ. You guys are the best. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Right on. <laughs> Looking forward to the sub-50 on the GDQ. I don't even think that's possible at this point. We're like 15 or 16 minutes in. All right. So if you guys want something to look out for, uh, you can tell me what the timer is whenever I grab the wand and I can give you guys probably some kind of estimate of how I'm doing in terms of world record slash uh, a decent run. So just give me the uh, give me the lowdown of what uh, just uh, um, just ballpark it. You don't have to be exact with when I grab the wand. It'd be pretty hard to see the exact time. There is always Jesus clip. No, we, no Grand Pooh Bear here. So we we. Pretty guaranteed to complete this run. Fourteen thirty-one. Enter the ship. Uh, my vision. My personal visual. So I don't really know the enter the ship time. But entering the ship on fourteen. What am I gonna get? A fifteen fifty something here. Maybe a 15, like 57 or something? What is it, right now? Right on. Right, so let's see, we'll see what this is. We'll see what you guys come up with. I, I can't see my timer. I don't know what my time is. So I'm only guessing. Wow, I was pretty close. What did I say, 1557? Oh my gosh. I don't even have a timer. I don't even have a timer, so I totally guessed that. That's pretty good. Go Mitch. Right on. Thank you very much, guys, for letting me know. Now I have a visual reference, and with a reference, I can kind of change a little bit what I do, right? Safe versus not safe things, but... Right now, we're doing pretty good. And we're going for all speed strats, guys. I have not held back at all this run. I have not held back at all this run. We're going... Pretty hardcore here. Beep, beep. And we're gonna go for subpixel manipulation. New route in 5-1. It's gonna be really cool. Ooh. Those overworld bumps. Uh, a 1555 is still 51 minute pace. I'm on pace for a 51 minute run right now. 54-ish run. You're totally just guessing. <laughs> Couple minutes off, but... Hey, you never know, right? We're only in World 4. We're only halfway there. 
get exactly 11 more coins, I can assure you that I will definitely be getting 11 more coins. Oh, just you wait. I'm hitting every world because this is any percent warp list, so I beat it as fast as possible, but I have to go through worlds 1 to 8. I grind for this record every single day, guys. Except for Saturday. I don't stream on Saturdays. Saturdays is the big old nope for me. Alright, so we use our hammer here. Right there. Done and done. Get our cloud. See ya. Yep, I'm going for all the hardest strats. I'm going... This is pretty much a world record attempt. I haven't held back on anything. We got it. Let's go. All right, we're going to go for the super swim here. It's actually pretty hard to execute right there. Okay, we got it. So what you guys didn't notice is that I pressed down on that single tile water. The, the two single tiles of water. And it allows me to, like, run off the edge, but I still execute the swim with the speed. It's really weird. Right here. Let's go. That was very sexy. <laughs> All right. What's going on, Dead Money? You're the first person I actually just said hi to. <laughs> Oh, that duck is really important in this fortress. Really, really important. Alright, we killed him so we can grab the orb up top. Orb. Right on. It's a really good run, guys. If I didn't make that extra hammer, brother. But I can actually bring that time back. So we're gonna go for no hammer brothers in World 5. We're gonna go for no Hammer Brothers. We don't want you, Hammer Brothers. Get the heck out of here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Would it even be world record? Well, yeah. Oh, no, guys. Math is hard on slow airships, guys. That's my fault. Yes, you guys can blame me. 70 coins. I've cursed the run now. <laughs> yes, ah. Uh, I'm sorry to have put you guys through this airship two times tonight. How could I do such things? How can I do such things? Alright guys, I need the chat to tell me. Okay, what is your... Hmm, let's see. What is your guys' favorite dinner dish? Let's go, come on, I want to see it. I know, I want to know what everyone is favorite dinner. Come on. Whether it's takeout, whether it's restaurant, whether you make it, I just want favorite dinner is. Come on. I've got nothing better to do here. Let's see. Let's see what you guys got. You did not miss Rift Bros, no. Ramen, huh? Tacos! Oh, those are pretty good! Mac and cheese? I mean, that's not bad. Pizza! Ooh. I feel like that's huge on a lot of people's list. Steak's really good, too. Yeah. Oh, you guys got the goodies. Alright. And split. Right on. Badly made salad. Still a salad, I guess. Oh, dude, Teeks, I love buffalo buffalo wings. Hey, salmon's pretty good. Pizza, is it boneless? 
Right on. Yo, Shepherd's Pie is really good. Except, what what's mine called? Because I use ground beef. It's not Shepherd's Pie. It's, uh, what, what do you guys call it? Mmm. <laughs> steamed hams. All right, let's go, guys. Watch. Oh, I need to do that because I already have the extra music box. So this is a brand new strategy. I made a YouTube video explaining what I'm doing right now, and this is crazy. We're going to get this music box. Oh, man, that was scary. I got stuck in the ceiling. So luckily, I was able to do my duck input. Oh, yes, cottage pie. That's right. All right. That was a close call, but we made it. You see my head stuck in the ceiling there? That was so silly. Nice game, Nintendo. We love it. We love it, though. Steamed hams. I thought we were having steamed clam. Wee hee Let's go. That mistake in 5-1 actually wasn't that bad. So we're going to use the music box we got now because we have clip manipulation. So we don't need P-Wings anymore in this category. This category was like super hot, and then all of a sudden we got rid of P wings, and it just got even hotter. Sorry, my inventory is a little weird because of what I do. It kind of like messed me up again. All right, let's go. All right, we got their P speed there too. That's kind of like a single frame input there to keep that P speed and get it going hot. This is any percent warpless, yep. All right, so we're gonna skip these bros. Not so bros now, are you, bros? All right, let's go, let's go. Up into that pipe. So this fortress is very, like, physically... A lot of very precise, you know, duck inputs. Um, there's three different kind of P-speed strategies, all within one level. Oh, so building P-Speed in the room that I just passed right there is a very specific... You can't just run and jump the pipe and build P-Speed. It doesn't work like that. Right on, 280. All right, remember we mentioned the scary level? So we need to avoid this next Hammer Brother. So we want him to move right after this level. All right, that's scary. Now, the good news about this route is I could get a coin chip and I don't have to worry about it in this world, which is awesome. Alright, that's actually not too bad. As long if he moves up, that'll be good after this. That is a very, very, very difficult P-Speed to build right there, so... Um, I'm happy I was able to showcase it. With no Fire Flower, it's very scary with that, um... Paragoomba. Okay, Hammer Brother, move up. Come on, buddy, move up. If he moves up, we're so safe. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Yeah! All right, let's go. This is one of the new P-Speed strategies for you guys. And it failed. The worst way possible. I'm so sorry, guys. The worst way possible. But we're still doing pretty good. All right. This is pretty good. Okay, we're safe. That jump is always so scary. Reset. This run's actually pretty good. All right, so I'm actually gonna have to get two coins here because I want to guarantee uh, avoiding coin ship. I just don't even want to have to think about it. If I get two coins here, I lap over 80. Don't have to even worry about it. All right, moving up one. Let's go. Come on, bros. Oh, 
I got a movement of one, but I messed up my inputs. Uh, <laughs> oh, so that means I don't get to get a fight kill. Unfortunately. Womp. Nonetheless, though, it runs still really good. Alright. I think we are still on 51 pace. All right, so World Six has our very first subpixel manipulation. We're gonna try and manipulate subpixels so we can execute the wall jump first try. However, my A press for the wall jump the other day was not working very well, so I'm not putting all of my eggs in one basket. But it's for the most part, it's free for me. So we'll see. Beep. World 6 is where nasty things happen. So I only want to fight two of the three Hammer Brothers in World 6. I want the Hammer and I want the Cloud. I do not want the Star. Beep. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't go for the Fire Kill because he jumped right away. That was scary. Alright, off screen wand grab. Uh, we tried. Double Fireballs? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. We are meeting Gandalf right now in his chair and he's super happy. A 2851. I don't know what that time is. 2851 comparison. 2851. I don't know what that is. I can't. We only want these two Hammer Brothers that we can see. We only want these two guys. Alright, that's okay. So the Hammer Brother we want... Oh, always so scary. Nice. Alright, we're good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is where some weird things with the Hammer Brother. Please don't weird. Okay, moving to one. So that Hammer Brother right there is still the one that we want. It's the only possible outcome for the Hammer Brother. Uh, to be in that position, so we should be good. Pretty standard level right here. Not much. Alright, okay. So now we get to see what they do, so it's much easier to track. My PB had early hammers, so... I'm actually in pretty good standing. Right? This run didn't have early hammer. Right, if you're using my splits to compare against world record PB versus this run, you have to remember this run doesn't have early hammer. No early hammer. Big, big luck component. Okay, so the hammer brother we want is on the top right now. That is him. Okay, so the hammer brother that we don't want can either move up or down and we're safe. But if he moves right, we're not safe. So we have a high chance, right? We have two options where we're good. One option bad and nice. Thank you very much, Mr. HB. This is the first level to set up subpixel manipulation for wall jump coming up. Right here for you guys. So we're gonna try and move one pixel to the left to get a high subpixel value after we. We're gonna do this level. 
without doing a single turn back. We're going to avoid all the big hills. Okay. Now, I, I kind of feel like I messed up my movement with the boom boom. I don't think that I got it because I was moving, but the, there's so much flashing. It's so hard to see if Mario actually moves or not. So, we hope. We got it. Dude, put all your faith in the subpixel wall jump manipulation. Let's go. Put all your faith in it. All your faith in it. My manips bring all the viewers to the stream and they're like, <laughs> I don't know what to say after that. Oh, that jumps so hard. That's a hard jump. Yo, this World 6 has been great, you guys. This World 6 has been incredible. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, of course he gives me a move in a two. Seven is the run killer, yes. Um, but there is there is really no need for us to go for seven nine. Do you guys think we should anyways? Do you think we should go for seven nine? What do you guys think? Seven nine is such a jerk, though. We're not on anything amazing. We're on a pretty good run, I'd say. But do it, Mitch. Oh, we got another wall jump. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm very excited. This is very fun. I love video games and Mario three and speedrunning and GDQ and you guys. It's all just a good time. And considering we had a pretty bad day here in Salt Lake with the earthquakes, this is a nice finish to the day. This ship is definitely not up to building standards. I can tell you that much. What do you guys think? Do you guys think we got sub pixel 14 or 15 right there? I think we did. I think we did. That'll be really good if we do. Okay, so I don't have an extra star, so I have to show you guys Fast 7-2. I have to show you guys Fast 7-2. So you're lucky, but also unlucky, because if you fail Fast 7-2, it's a very big time loss. Let's go! That is three in a row with my new uh, method. My new 7-1 method that I just came up with the, the other night is working really well for me. I have not missed 7-1 yet in about four attempts now, so I'm pretty happy. All right, guys, quiet time. This is really hard. That's fine. Okay. Incredible, dude. That is a lot of P-meter manipulation right there. Fast 7-2 is very hard, you guys. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, I know. There's no sound. <laughs> Fast 7-2's got a lot of pixel-perfect P-speed builds. Incredible!
That's exactly what the M means. The M on Mario's hat stands for Mitch. Okay, we're gonna go for another sub-pixel manipulation here. So far, two of the three that I'm going for have worked for me. We're going for number three. Intentional damage. I think I moved too little there. 7-6 is really taking me for a run. Yeah. One, two, three. It sucks because 7-6 is the easy one. Nice. That's actually really good. Really good. Really good. That was only, what, three or four tries? Yeah, I got to change up what I'm doing. I'm trying to use my new method. 7-6, and I don't need to. I really don't. Oh, come on, dude. I was like a pixel away from that. Stupid. It's okay. I just don't get to do super sexy P-Speed. Oh! Yes, when you have the hammer suit, if you duck, you can deflect fireballs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yes, we gotta go for it, you guys. Of course. This isn't anything out of the ad ab abnormal. Anything out of the ordinary. Always miss, man. I never get the clips. You guys wanted this. There's nothing I can do, guys. I'm sorry. It's just RNG. I'm getting very, very, very unlucky. There we go. So I might as well go through in full clear, just so I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. We still want it. That's right. <laughs> Dude, there's blocks and hammers all over the place. This level's so chaotic. Nah, that level wasn't too bad. It wasn't so bad. Go for safety here. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. Hottest level in speedrunning? Nah, I'm thinking 7 8 is now. Nice. 7 8 is definitely hotter than 7 4 2 now. Yes. The 7 8 I did in the all collectibles. Mm. You guys hear that? Mm. Magnificent. Alright, we are on another long ship so what do we say let's see what is your guys favorite song just one song pick your favorite song what is your guys favorite song well it's only because i messed up the manipulation for being that's all I'm applying, I'm applying my new method on 7-6, which I don't need to be doing. But I'm just doing it because I'm excited that it's a really, really good way of doing it. Katy Perry's Fireworks, Sea Creatures Song, It's Raining Men, Stargazer, Gin and Juice, Bohemian Rhapsody, really? It's pretty good. Those are good songs. Downtown. 
Scream of the butterfly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, you guys can let me know what my split time is for this world. This world still went pretty well. Not too bad. The world record, for anyone wondering, is 5036, but that has early hammer in it. That has an early hammer manipulation in it. However, it does have one hand in it and more and more time saves. Look at that. Perfect question I asked you guys, because it made us all the way through the same Perfect timing. Boop. 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 Come on, last off-screen wand grab. Oh, we tried. Double hammer? Yeah. All right. I'm curious. I'm going to guess that my time was like a 43-something. Maybe 42, high 42. 43, 24, right on. Now guys, this is where hands, hey you, how about lending me your clothes? No dice, what a drag. Oh. All right, this is where hands really matter, you guys. This is where we really want to get the no hands. Yes, one of the best levels in Mario history. The Tank Brigades. Oh, we. Remember, we have an extra cloud. So we can cloud over the fortress. The world record does not cloud over the fortress in this world. The world record does not go for the 7 9 clips, right? So that's where one of the big time saves in my world record grinds I can nail. If I can get all the clips in 7 9 with like an early hammer and no hands, ooh, baby, I can really. I can really beat that world record. You guys know as well as I do, that is a lot of this game. Uh, don't forget guys, if you do not follow me for my world record attempts, then you will almost likely and guarantee to miss the world record. So if you want to see it happen live, there's only one way for you to do that. That's follow GDQ. <laughs> The hands clean? I hope so. They look like they're in some kind kind of weird portal thing. Right? Don't it? The hands look like they're in some kind of weird dimension portal. Hands look they might actually be pretty dirty. I don't want to be getting grabbed by those dirty awful hands. Alright, so we are at that point, guys. How many hands do you think I am yet? Combo! Ooh, zero hands. A couple of you right off the bat. Zero hands. Thank you very much. We already got all three hands. So come on, give us the zero hands. We want the zero. We need the zero. Dude, on world record pace, this airship is so stressful. Or this, this, uh, this, uh, I don't know, navy, the boat. Because, like, the, on the only thing you're thinking is, like, man, if I get no hands, this is so good. And it like really messes with you. Whee! All right, hands are coming up, guys. I'm nervous because I just really want no hands. We need some GDQ marathons with no hands here. All right. Come on, game.
I am still in epic facial pog form. Right I am mega pogging right now. You remember Alf? He's back in pog form. Sorry, Bart. All right, we had to get no hands. Hey, right. waited a month and a half. We got no hands to charity run. That's awesome. GDQ hotfix. Sorry, not charity run. I'm confusing myself. All right, let's go. Pog. Pog, 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 pog. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Pog, pog, pog. All right, Mr. Sun. You got away last time, but not this time. Epic! Wee! <laughs> Okay, I need to know the time of when I enter the next tank. Alright, what is the timer when I enter this tank? And I can give you guys a rough estimate of what my time is going to be. Right now, what's my time? I'm assuming it's going to be 49 something. Or maybe low 50. Forty-nine, thirty-nine. That's actually pretty good. I don't know how long this this tank is. One fifteen? Okay, so this this would be like a high fifty one then. It looks like. You guys are looking at a fifty one forty four, you think? All right, time as soon as I enter the door. The up, the up input as soon as I enter the door. And time. Right on. All right, that was an epic warpless run. Holy, cr I was not expecting to get a fifty-one. I'm guessing I got a 51. I don't know exactly what. A 51.49? In a marathon run? Like, what? That's incredible, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, they don't call me Mitch Flower Power for nothing. What, you don't like my flowers? <laughs> right on. That was. That was incredible. That was really fun okay um so i want all you guys to pog and be super happy about that we are gonna go four minute break uh i'm gonna send it back to my girl sky 
Uh, she might have something to say, uh, maybe not, but we had a break, so I will see you guys soon. Coming back at you with Super Rift Bros 3, so get ready for that. I'll see you guys soon. Couple minutes. Thank you so much, Mitch, for that fantastic run of 5149 is probably one of the best SMB3 marathon runs I have ever seen, or marathon-esque type runs. Real quick reminder, folks, remember GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to support the stream as well as other programs on GDQ Hotfix, please consider subbing to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you do have a Twitch Prime sub, so please consider using that if you have not already to sub to the channel. So after this, we're going to take a really quick break, and then Mitch will be doing a Rift Rose run. So stay tuned, folks, and we'll be right back. Okay. 
All right, welcome back to GDQ Hotfix, folks. We are here with Mitch Flower Power for the third run of the night. This is going to be Super Rift Brothers 3, a mod of the game. So Mitch, take it away and have fun. What is up, everyone? I hope you guys had a good break. Make sure you guys go get some water, uh, go to the bathroom, you know, get up and stretch, do what you got to do, because I am about to start Super Rift Bros 3. This is a Kaizo mod, and there are some things changed to the original Mario Bros. 3. Um, this is Kaizo, so it's going to be... It's going to be a lot more difficult than what I was just doing. So my commentary is not going to be as high. This is not something that I've done for 10 years, like Mario 3. Um, so I'm going to be focusing more on completing these difficult levels without trying to die as much rather than um, talking and, and goofing off as much. But we'll still, we'll still, do, the, still do the normal goofing off. So uh, we're going to do another countdown from 3, and when we hit go, and we'll start the timer. Uh, for anyone wondering, my PB in this right now is 44 minutes and 32 seconds. I just got it last night. so. Let's try and beat that. Let's try and beat that. There's a, this is very difficult, so expect a lot of deaths. This might take me an hour, okay? All right, so three, two, one, go! All right. As you see, we got some changes. All right, first level down. Whee! Right on. That is a very healthy start. So what happened to me was something that normally happens there, so I kind of had to back up a little bit there, and it uh, kind of did not work out the way I wanted it to. Oof. Here it comes, guys. I told you. Luckily, these are fast deaths. We should be able to rocket through this level right now, though. Yeah, see, I didn't hit this turtle early enough. Now I'll hit it. See that? Now we're good. That was my bad. It's kind of close, too. Let's go! See? We got it. I started running this a couple days ago. Uh, like a week ago. But I've been putting a lot of practice in, so we're good. 100% includes all these piranha plant stages. Oh, that was close. All right, Subpixel King. Let's go for the wall jump right Oh, we missed it. I have to say that this is one of the most beautiful Mario 3 uh, mods out there. I think it's fantastic. It's so vibrant. All the levels are awesome. Okay, this part is scary. So he just tossed it up, so he's gonna toss it. One, two, okay, and then he's gonna go one, two, three. Watch out for those guys, very scary. Ooh, got me right on the side. Very possible to happen. Let's try and go for that wall jump. Yeah! So we skipped that one section, right? That's what we want to get the first time we play. I want to get that section skip. Ah, I knew he was going to do it. Is he going to do one, two, three? Yep. 
That was very close. I almost died right there. That's very difficult. Okay, this fish is very scary. Oh, okay, we made it. Nice levels. All these levels are, are so beautiful and, and very well made. Wait until you see how 100% works. It's it's so cool. Uh, actually, okay, I'm going to get this. Uh, this is an anchor uh, for World 7. For anyone who's been watching my run, boy, you know why I want this anchor. This is not required in 100%, but I'm doing it for safeties. Alright, first fortress. We're gonna do Psycho Skip by hitting that fast. Put the cannon to shoot right away. Alright, right on. Nice! Oh, that is scary. That is very scary. All right, one and done. Let's go. We're good. Whoop. As you can see, I need to focus, you know, a on these runs. So. You guys are going to love the airships. I think you did a perfect job on these airships. Perfect for you. If you guys haven't seen this, watch. so awesome. You're gonna love it. Best airship ever. I think he did good justice on the airships. It's just this little tiny airship. It's all cute. Woo! That was close. All right, first world down. Does anyone know the timer of when I grab the wand? I think doing a death deathless world one is like three something. I probably grabbed the one there at five minutes. This is one of the best Mario three mods out there, including mine, of course. He 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 he. Ha 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 ha. All right, let's go. Okay, we got a music box. All right, let's go. This is a very standard platforming level. Start off with a wall jump right there for you guys. We're gonna rush these guys. Very scary. Big jump here. Oh, so scary. We're gonna we're gonna cycle skip right here. Do a jump. Oh, we made it. Okay, this is the hardest part. No, oh, we made it. I can't believe that. Let's go. Let's go. We are in there! Yeah, I have uh, Mini Kaizo Bros 3. Mini Kaizo Bros 3. Alright, this next level is very cool. Very good usage of the micro... Micro Goombas act kind of like weights. And you'll see how. Alright, come on. Very cool. I love that. Very good use of the micros. Come on. Yes! No stars either. This world's going really well. This is a really good world. Right on. Let's go. Okay, insta-death. Come on, do it for me. Yeah! 
<laughs> I don't know why he does that. He that boomerang bro's like, I'm out, man. I just saw what you did the last level. I'm not even gonna try. Well, there goes my deathless. <laughs> Oh, I touched the question block. Oh, that stinks. Touching the question block made it so that I didn't touch. And I'm nervous for these doors. Oh, I just died through the doorway. Oh, well, well then. Okie dokie. Watch out for those doorway deaths, guys. Nice. And then he uses a really cool concept here for a boss. Once you destroy all the enemies, then the chest appears and we're good to go. Right on. Ah, oh, if only I could have got through this without, without the death. Really cool, right, Kalem? Really cool. All right, this next level kind of sucks. Shh. You didn't hear it from me. It's really hard to make that jump when when the platforms are moving down. Ugh, I hit it a bit, but not die there that is a big eat of time thank goodness we made it through guys that makes me very happy de-stressed Oh, we made it. That pipe's hard to get in there. No! Come on! I got pixeled in the ceiling! That's a Mario 3... That's a Mario 3 flaw. I didn't I didn't actually do anything wrong there. Ah oh, god, that sucks a lot. Mario 3, dude, right there for you. I got stuck in the ceiling cuz they didn't know how to Mario 3 properly when they made this game. <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, let's try it again here. Don't ceiling pixel me, please. There we go. I kind of went out of my way to make sure that I didn't get ceiling pixeled, but it still sucks that it happened. Let's 
Let's go! Woo -boo -boo -boo. Yeah, no, we're still good, Sky. This is this is the path you take. This is the right path, trust me. You'll see. So I, that's I'd say that this this section is one of my biggest complaints is that uh, for people who don't fully understand a lot of the P meter, this runway is very short and there's not much room, right? So it's like I'm not sure if it was an intended Kaizo strat or if it was lack of right nailed it nailed it once when making the level and was like oh it works. There's lots of frame rules with this game. So. Oh no! Got you guys. You thought you thought it. Oh no! Nailed it. Nice. We out of there. Quick kill. Wee -hee -hee -hee. Yeah, there's Kaizo blocks all over the place that I have to avoid. Yeah. All the Kaizos. So, the level after this level is my favorite level in the game. I gotta watch out, I don't get double balled here. Okay, good. You don't wanna get double balled there. Sometimes, he throws two balls at once, and they like, interact with your hitbox in a very strange way. So this next level coming up is my favorite level. Two, three seconds ahead with the mic. That's... That's not too bad. That's okay. Alright, favorite level. Favorite level followed by my, my most disliked level. <laughs> Alright. I intentionally died there so I could do this level again. It's just so much fun, these first two jumps. I knew once I held right. There's a lot, a lot of neutral jumps. You, you one and done this level, or you stay here for 10 years level. There's a lot you have to concentrate on when doing this. Short hop. Never died from that. That was the end of the leave that No way, dude. The last muncher. Whatever, this level's sick. Oh come on, dude. In all of my practice attempts, in all of my practice streams in the last couple days, in all of my runs, I've never death spiraled in this level. You would think that I would never do it because it's my favorite level, so I would know it the most, which for the most part I do, but leave it up to a marathon for the universe to miraculously screw you over on things that you know the most and successfully allow you to succeed in things you know the least. That's just how marathons work. See? Missed input. I can't believe this level's killing me this much. It's like, I I first try this level every time I play it. Maybe I secretly love this level and I don't want to... The only thing that I'd say is bad about this level, it is very hard. A lot of very specific jumps. 
Whoa, that like pushed me around there. That was weird. You can see how consistent I am at the level. There we go. We're out of there. You see how close I was to that death? Oh my goodness. But yeah, you can see how consistent I am at the level. How much. I have a lot of fun playing that level. That's okay. Deaths be deaths. Alright, next level. Lots of people are gonna like this level. I am for. Not a huge fan of this level. Sorry, I had to be quiet there because once you start dying in that level, that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. We gotta go this way before we go that way. We gotta go that way. This way. We gotta go up and down and left and right. Alright, Fortress. Let's go. Alright, your favorite power-up, guys. So many turn backs in this level. The P speed is very sloppy in this level. Very sloppy. There's no flow to it. So you have to, like, look at all the turn backs I have to do in it, right? That was the end there, too, guys. I was really close. Nice! We did it! Yay! Still got it! Oh, that was scary! Come on, get me out of here, get me out of here! Alright, here comes the gauntlet, guys. The gauntlet. Hold on. We gotta use pause strats here, right? Watch. We do this. Boom. Let's go, dude. I love those strats. Alright, come on, airship. This level is so... This is the hardest level in the game, in my opinion. In my opinion, this is the hardest level in the game, for sure. gosh yes oh that was so scary oh my goodness i was stun locked how did i not die there that was awesome so the anchor i got in world one the anchor i got in world one was if i died on this airship i could stop it from flying around because all the pipes right i'd have to go through all the pipes <sighs> so that is a big time save That is a big time save. But unfortunately, I died so much in the first level. But that was really good. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. All right, here we go.
Dude, that happened to me yesterday. That that sucks so much. I can't get any more momentum, right guys? Like like if that doesn't work. That makes me so sad cuz we we were nailing that level. All right, come on consistency. Don't fail me now, buddy. Oh, the shell. Ah, oh, the shell was on the right side whenever I spawned it, so it wasn't there. That sucks. Janky ha! Freaking ha with the janky ha! I save that. These are just so silly deaths. <laughs> no wonder I don't remember this level. Oh, there's those are bouncy blocks there. I'm sweating so much, man. Oh, oh. <sighs> let this be a trial run. Oh my gosh, it's over, guys. I'm sweating so much. They have to. No, that is horrible. I can't, I can't save it. It's close. It ain't easy being cheese. Still a really good run, I bet. My P speed screwed me over because I jumped too far from that ledge. Oh, that was close. I almost missed that question. Let's go. Oh, come on. Why, why do you do this game? Why must... We actually have time to kill, which is pretty good too. I swear, I'm not sandbagging. Beep, beep. You don't remember Mario 3 being this different? What? You don't remember Will Date being. I first try this level in my PB and all my other speedruns that I did, I first try this level. Uh, the reason I'm not first trying this level is because uh, the universe is upset at me for playing so well today that it's got to balance the order. Like the things I'm messing up in this level, I don't even... I, they're things that you would never mess up, so I don't know how to prepare for them. They're just the one and done mistakes. The one and done. See, you're just, oh my, hey, goodness. It is incredible. Excuses, I'm sorry guys. Well, you gotta have a little bit of fun with this, right? You can't be mad at it. This is all in good fun. That's what the hot fix is for, right guys? All of us 
to laugh and hang out and watch me get my butt kicked. There's got to be some kind of enjoyment watching the better player, right, lose. I am very surprised that it's this level creating the death spiral. I'm not- I don't know why, guys, but it's happening. This is one of the easier levels in the hack, too. Oh my gosh, come on, dude. Let's go. Oh, where is he? Come on back. Wait, when do I go? Okay, wait, is it going left? Gotta save it! Oh my goodness, guys. The saves, though. The saves. I don't, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I don't get it, man. I don't, I'm trying. You're not trying hard enough, Mitch. I was kind of hoping that run was it because I saved it, right? Oh, we made it! Everyone celebrate! We made it! We made it! I'm trying too hard? I don't know about that. I'm trying as hard as I should be, I guess. Whew, we made it, all right. Still a nice save. All right, level three. This level's actually pretty cool. Oh my gosh, again, the this is when, this is when the universe is like, all right, man. From here until the end of the game, a whole bunch of things that you've never experienced before, it's time. Like that. <laughs> it's happening. These are very good learning curves though. Boop. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't make that. Right on. Nice, we made it. We're gonna go for a nice little sequence break at the end here. It's gonna be very exciting. You guys are gonna like it. And it's over. That has not happened to me uh, before either. So, yay. Boop. Nice, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, you guys. What? That is a never before. What? I, I tail swiped it and then took damage after I had already hit it. Oh. At least we can appreciate this run for seeing something new. I have never seen that before. How long is the hotfix? Uh, I think I have it for another 50 minutes or so. Oh, come here. I don't know how I took damage there. Oh, it's over. Can't make it. The amazing tricks. Hey, I didn't, I, I learned something new from this run. And I think that means good things. Only good things come from learning something new on runs. Right? And we gotta do the speed strats, you know? Gotta go all out. Stay away from it, cause who knows, right? All right, let's go for a cool sequence break here. So we're gonna do a clip here. Oh, come on. Typical, it's cause the marathon. It's cause the marathon. Did you see how I went inside, inside the wall and then it pushed me out again? 
Typical game, SMB3. Still a good time? Oh yeah, man. I'm still having lots of fun. Oh. Oh, I can't imagine what my- I don't- I don't think I can- Oh, come on. I don't think I can PB. I still think PBing during a marathon is asking a little too much. It's asking a little too much. I clipped into the ceiling and then it moved me. I think because I did such a good job with my all collectibles and warpless run that, like I said, I it's honest, like, I always blame the universe when stuff like this happens. Cause all this weird stuff is happening right now. Stuff that like this, like I've n I don't I haven't experienced this stuff yet. So it's like, and especially not taking damage from. All right, let's try this again. Nice, we in there. Luckily for GDQ, with it being months away, way more practice if we get this in. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If PBs were easy, then it would be like a meh thing. I don't think Riff is a person. So the hand bridge is a bunch of trial levels. Like a, a thing that we do in SMB3 mods is uh, a lot of people like to use the hand bridges as like little trial levels. I think that's pretty cool. My PB's 44. I'm probably past four minutes right now. That was a that was a pretty big death spiral. Obviously, you don't expect those kind of death spirals in marathon runs, but they always happen in marathon runs. Even in in my Grand Pooh World run, I got a little death spiral. Nice, the combo wombo. Yeah, I got a new PB last night. All right, let's go. Now we're burning rubber, guys. Now we're burning rubber. All right, one of the hardest levels. Oh, what? <sighs> Got me good, man. There's lots and lots to look out for in this level. With this trolley beginning. <laughs> so trolly. Ah, come on. There we go. There is a Kaizo, right? Ooh, what a troll. No, why did I under jump? That was the end. Can't believe I under jumped that. That was it. I have big time save on my PB in this level too. Big time saves. Big old big. This level is very difficult though. Not easy. Not easy at all. You avoid that. Activate that guy, come down, go up. Almost die right there. Almost die right there. Yeah, why didn't I big jump right there? Nice. Whee! Yeah, a couple death spirals, not too bad though. That's not a level, that's just a sand trap. For 100%, we need to save a cloud to cloud past that sand trap. Then we get that hammer. This is where, 
this is where this mod becomes really, really cool. Is we get another warp whistle. It's like, what the heck is that? What's the warp whistle for? Oh, we'll see. This is the warp whistle. All right. Back to World 2 again. What? Why are we going back to World 2 again? Oh, because we got the hammer now. We can go in the pipe. Cool. What does that do? Ah, yes. The boat. All right. Where's this taking us? What the heck? We were already in this world. Okay. I guess we're going to beat it. Remember, I used the warp whistle to get out of this world. Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? Don't hurt me, mister! This guy's pretty trolly! Okay, we're good. Alright. Nice. Yeah, World 8. World 8 gave me the works. I was doing really... really until 8 1, 8 2, and 8 3. Um, I, again, I don't, I can't see my timer, so I don't know exactly how much time I lost. I don't think I'm on PB pace, but that'd be pretty cool if I was. We'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. So now that we beat Le World 2 Vanilla, now we're in 3. Okay. Oh, no, it's not possible, SP Chocobo. If that's what my time is right now, it's not possible. All right. So we use that last warp whistle, and it takes us to S, which I'm guessing is either special or star. I'm not sure, but here we go. These levels are very difficult. that before i've never ah that's never happened i really gotta watch out for that i've never seen that before like in mario 3 history i've never i tail swiped him so he should be dead right kind of able to grab i'm not sure why it's damaging me but it is gotta look out for those that's the exciting thing about kaizo hacks there's always something there to like screw you over right something new Ah, the new strategy worked out great. I love it. All right, we'll wait here. Yeah, that's the best saying in Kaizo. We'll tail swipe him so we can take it safe. Right on. We made it right on i like this run a little bit of death spiral here and there but i like this run pretty good all right big cheese coming up guys big cheese we're gonna go for a big sequence break luckily the level that i'm trying to do sequence break in i know very well so if it doesn't work it, it happens i don't have an extra hand do i be dope if i did all right here we go We made it! That's awesome! Alright, dude. So I'm not supposed to have my feather here, or my, my leaf. I keep calling it feather. I'm not supposed to have my leaf here. 
Um, so I'm actually gonna go for this right now. So I use a star. Ooh, that's bad. I'm gonna beat the level normally. Let's go! <laughs> that was awesome! Right on. Oh, coin ship. Oh, no. No! We don't want this! Please! Leave these lands! Leave these lands forever! Yes, we got it. Nice. Nice speed strat. All the best. Alright, now we can fight him. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Nice, speed strats. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, this is one of the coolest levels. You guys are really cool. Level. Let's go. Let's go. That was crazy. All right, we'll try this once. If it doesn't work, we'll go grab the hammer suit. Oh, first try, Bowser. <laughs> Incredible. That was scary. Okay, that was scary. And time as soon as I go through the door. Time. Oh, guys, if we didn't have those death spirals in World 8, that would have been a really... Shoot. What was our what was our time? What did we end up getting? Forty six twenty six. That was so close, man. If I didn't have that death spiral, that was a really good run. A uh, couple comments. Uh, Kaizo really uh, pulls uh, people from their normal state of vanilla gameplay. So uh, when you get in those stages of video game tilting. Uh, kind of in terms of, you know, constantly dying and constantly failing. Um, nothing feels better than overcoming from that tilting position. It always sucks, and it's the worst, you know, for every Kaizo player. And to be able to overcome from all that failing and all the dying and then come in and secure a clean run and, you know, get it under get it under the quote time is still really good. So thanks, everyone, for, for uh, working through working through that tilt the uh the death spirals you guys really made it made it help us well i hope you guys had a lot of fun more or less yeah i hope you guys had a lot of fun um i stream this and mario brothers 3 world record attempts every single day so if you guys want to make sure you watch records and you want to see me get the record in this game and bought the ryu car make sure you guys give me a follow at twitch.tv slash mitch flower power that would be me I'm very close at 80k. Also, I want to give a shout out to GDQ and GDQ Hotfix. You guys are amazing. You guys put so much, uh, you guys put so much importance on these runs and make us all feel so good about you know playing video games and speedrunning. I just thank you guys so much. Without you guys, right? Like I, I come to every GDQ. Fantastic. I don't have anything prepared to say at the end of this, so I'm just kind of like talking. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much else. Thank you so much for 
Guy and uh, Rich, they really helped out, really making this possible. Thank all of you for Give GDQ a lot of love and a lot of support. Okay. Uh, we're going to add in, let's go here. What's going on, Sky? Hey, Mitch. We're together in this. How you doing? How was your first impression on uh, the uh, Rip Rose? I did not realize it was going to be that difficult of the game, and then I saw stage one, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think most of us could get past that. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty tough game. I put a lot of practice in. Um, I guess some very unfortunate uh, new deaths. I guess you can say there's always something new, right? Always video games to really uh, give you that pushback. So it's still very exciting. There was a couple good one shots too, where I just came in and one and done it. That's always feels good. That's how speedruns go sometimes. But I think you're awesome. Everybody, please give Mitch a follow. That's at twitch.tv slash Mitch Flower Power. Definitely worthy of the follow. I've been following Mitch for about five years or so, and you will not be disappointed by dropping the follow on the channel. Mitch has always been a dedicated member of the community, taught me how to speedrun Super Mario Brothers 3 all those years ago. So thank you so much again, Mitch. You're awesome. No We're problem. very grateful to have you. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm very grateful to have you guys as well together as possible, and that's what matters. So, real quick before we leave, folks, remember that GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you would like to support the stream as well as the other programs on Hotfix, please consider subbing to the channel. And speaking of programming, tomorrow we will have a GDQ Hotfix show. We're doing the first step with Donkey Kong Country 2 with Jay Hobbs and Keysron playing through it. That's 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Ooh. Come out and see our buds, uh, Jay Hobbs and uh, Keysron. It's going to be a great time. That's going to be it for that, folks. This was a GDQ Mitch Flower Power special. Mitch, we would love to have you at some over the point. I know you run quite a bit of games, uh, mostly SMB3 related, but pretty awesome. So again, drop Mitch that follow, and we will see you all back here tomorrow for the first step. Take care, folks, and thank you for stopping by. Take care, guys. Thanks for having me.